Hi Erin, today is Wednesday, November 16th, and this is The Succession Myth and Percy Jackson, Part 2. Last week I talked to you about the succession myth in Hesiod's Theogony, the summation of which was being a bad father slash king gets you overthrown by your kids, so be a better parent. Today I'm going to talk about how this theme is reflected in Percy Jackson and the Olympians, so there will be some spoilers ahead, though I'll try to keep the spoilerage to a minimum, and there will be some paraphrasing of quotations to avoid using too many names. In Percy Jackson, we have a whole slew of demigod kids with one human parent and one Greek godparent. Some of them know who their godly parent is, and some of them don't because they haven't been claimed. You're undetermined. They don't know what cabin to put you in, so you're here. Cabin 11 takes all newcomers, all visitors. How long will I be here? Good question, until you're determined. How long will that take? Campers all laugh. Maybe he'll send you a sign. That's the only way to know for sure. Your father has to send you a sign claiming you as his son. Sometimes it happens. You mean sometimes it doesn't? The gods are busy. They have a lot of kids and they don't always... Well, sometimes they don't care about us, Percy. They ignore us. So that's bad parenting move number one for you. The gods don't even get around to claiming their kids, so the kids are totally confused when monsters start attacking them out in the real world. And then when they get to camp, they just get shoved into the already overcrowded Cabin 11, which is actually the Hermes Cabin, so some of the kids there are actually Hermes kids, but the rest are unclaimed or children of minor gods. Then, even if the gods bother to claim their children, they don't interact with them or support them or anything. It's kind of understandable that they can't interfere too much with their kids' lives because they're gods, but that's not much comfort when you're a demigod and your life is super dangerous and your godly parent just totally ignores your existence. You might remember examples of not acknowledging your kid's existence from such previous episodes as Sky imprisoning his kids in Earth and Kronos swallowing all his kids when they're born. And now we get to the spoilers, because being unclaimed and or ignored does not sit well with the demigods, and for some of them it leads to pretty intense anger directed at their absent parents. Angry? Give up on me? He abandoned me, Percy. I want Olympus destroyed. Every throne crushed to rubble. Why were you trying to join up with the wrong side? There's no right side. The gods never cared about us. Why shouldn't I? I renounce the gods. What have they ever done for me? I will see them destroyed. No wonder he ran away. I mean, it wasn't right to leave his mom like that, but still, he was just a kid. His dad shouldn't have abandoned them. And on top of ignoring their kids, the Olympians aren't exactly big on their respect for any gods who aren't Olympians, which includes Hades down in the underworld, as well as all the minor gods. Neither Hades nor any of the minor gods have cabins at Camp Half-Blood, so if one of them is your parent, you don't get a place of your own, like the kids of Ares or Demeter or Apollo do, meaning both the gods themselves and their demigod offspring are awfully unhappy with how things are run up on Olympus. This is Hades talking. When's the last time Olympus ever helped me, Half-Blood? When's the last time a child of mine was ever welcomed as a hero? Why should I rush out and help them? Everyone thinks I'm Demeter. I'm Pomona, the Roman goddess of plenty. But why should you care? Nobody cares about the minor gods. If you cared about the minor gods, you wouldn't be losing this war. All I want is respect, Jackson. The gods never gave me that. You wanted me to go to your stupid camp, spend my time crammed into the Hermes cabin because I'm not important, not even recognized? Basically, what we have is Zeus and the rest of the Olympians falling into a lot of the same bad habits exhibited by Sky and Cronus. They don't stop their kids from existing, but they also don't acknowledge their kids' existence, and they don't really give honors or respect to their kids or to any of the non-major Olympian gods, and that almost gets them destroyed. Um, hopefully it won't be too surprising of a spoiler to reveal that Percy makes it the whole way through the series and his side wins. Percy gets to make a request of the Olympians, and he's noticed the bad patterns happening here. From now on, I want you to properly recognize the children of the gods. All the children of all the gods. This wouldn't have happened if it hadn't been for a lot of demigods who felt abandoned by their parents. They felt angry, resentful, and unloved, and they had good reason. No more undetermined children. I want you to promise to claim your children, all your demigod children, by the time they turn 13. They won't be left out in the world on their own at the mercy of monsters. I want them claimed and brought to camp so they can be trained right and survive. 
and the minor gods, they all deserve a general amnesty and a place at Camp Half-Blood. Their children shouldn't be ignored. And Hades, his children shouldn't be left out. They should have a cabin at camp. No unclaimed demigods will be crammed into the Hermes cabin anymore, wondering who their parents are. They'll have their own cabin for all the gods. All children of the gods will be welcome and treated with respect. That is my wish. So there you are. Gods are bad parents. Their kids don't like it. There's war. It stops when the kids get some respect. In the succession myth, Zeus stops the cycle with some help from his kids and his allies. In Percy Jackson and the Olympians, Percy stops the war with help from his friends. Aaron, I'll see you on Monday.